Hi, it's Erin. Today I'm going to do a quick demo in my honest review. It's called Neuron Writer. If you have your website, you need a content. I know everyone talks about the contents, you need a keyword. So complicating, right? There, are, it seems like so many things going on. But with a Neuron Writer, you don't really have to worry about anymore. This tool will help you to optimize your website content so Google adores it. Since ChatGPT came out, so many people, they are trying to sell the prompt to write a blog post. It's very easy and it's free. Now people, they are using ChatGPT to create hundreds, maybe thousands of the content every single day. But this content could be a low quality. If you have your website and if you want your content, your writer to rank better on Google, then you should use something similar to the Neuron Writer because it will bring the organic traffic to your website. Let me jump into your software to show you exactly what that means and how you can use this Neuron Writer. If it's the first time to use this software, you can click on create new product to add your domain name. I already added two different websites, as you can see here, so I'm going to choose one of them. I already created 120 different contents by using Neuron Writer. As you can see, I have a bunch of them. In order to add your new writing new contents keyword, you can click on new query. And this is where you can add your keyword. Search engine is the United States, but you can choose the other countries. The language is English. Advanced setting, you can add your computer URL in here. Let's say if my keyword is content editor, so I'm going to skip the sponsored pages, but my first, the website I can see is commit.com. So I'm going to click that website and I'm going to copy this website URL and paste it here because I want Neuron Writer to analyze these websites, these pages to find which keywords they used, the average length of the contents. And of course you can add your keywords, the additional keywords in here. If you have a bunch of different keywords, and if you want to create multiple analyze at once, you can enable this section here and add these keywords in here and hit the start. It will take about 10 to 20 seconds to analyze everything. Content writer query means the keywords search engine. I use the google.com, so it shows google.com here and content competition, lower number is better to rank on Google. We have analyzed date. You can assign to your team member. We have a content score and how many words I wrote and here's the text. We have the action. I'm going to choose content editor tips and tricks. And the next page is going to be choose a list of five different websites. The default is the 10 different websites. You can choose more or you can unselect, uncheck some of them here. Here's a URL. You can click it and see content. Sometimes the websites are the social media like a Pinterest, like a Facebook, Instagram, YouTube videos. So you don't want to select these websites. I don't recommend you just choose the amazon.com or ebay.com, these giant and bigger websites to analyze it. Now I'm going to click on next. Another few more seconds to be analyze everything. Now we can see the average of the readability is 75 and the average, the length of the contents, 2,376 word count. So we need to write about that length. Competitor best, the score is a 58. So if we have better than 58, that's a good, that's a good sign. And these are the keywords we need to include inside of our contents. We have a basic keywords, we have extended keywords and terms and headers. We can check the header one and header two. We need to add the keywords inside of our headers too. We can go to ideas. Here's the questions to answer 39 different questions. We can copy everything and paste in here to check. We can add these questions inside of our contents. Of course, you can click on this plus button to check individually and then add one by one these questions by clicking the button on the right side. The same thing to the others, the computer header one, we can check it and we can choose. We have a header two, we have a header three and the YouTube videos. As you can see, I have added some of the questions here and then it has highlighted some of the keywords we have used inside of the questions here. Now we are already 13, the score 13. It looks like a lot of work to do, right? So um, I really wanted to make this video because they recently added the AI writing, the advanced templates. So when we choose the advanced templates, under the advanced templates, there is a one-click long-form article. We can choose it. 
we need to have a title to the article and all these keywords automatically to add it inside of the each boxes. Tone of voice, I always just choose neutral here, but you can choose the informal, formal, witty, funny, serious, respectful, or motivating. And the best part of this AI tool, you can click on this gear button and you can choose between the ChatGPT 3.5, TextDaVinci 003, or ChatGPT 4. I tried ChatGPT 4 with a long form article, kind of a slow, very slow to generate the long form article. So I don't recommend you just use the GPT 4, but the ChatGPT 3.5 is it's good enough. If we go to OpenAI writing again, and there is a standard templates, and you can use this title here to generate the title for you. This is my title, Master Content Editor Editing with these essential tips and tricks. So I'm going to click on the generate now. It will take about 30 seconds to be completed. Now I'm going to just in case copy everything and click on copy to editor. We now have introduction. We have a headers. This is a header two. We have a header three and also the conclusion here. Let's go to the content terms. As you can see, all the basics ones has my edit all highlighted to the green and the red because we use this readability, this keyword for five times instead of just one time. So that's why it's red color. I realized that when we use the long form article, the extended keywords not included enough to the contents. So this is going to be a little bit of um, the manual job. I'm going to copy this title and go to the meta. This is where you can add a title and this is the description. Now I could add only two so I'll try to add these two ones as well. Now I used all the terms to the title and the description. Now the, the score is jumping to the 57. So it's almost 58. I'm going to add FAQ section here, and that's going to be header two. And I will go to go back to the AI writing and open AI writing again, advanced templates. There is FAQ with unused terms. All you need to do is hit generate again. Now I'm going to copy to editor. The FAQ is a header two. So I'm going to change this part is header three, header three to the question. Now the score is 64 and the length of this article is 1476. So I need to write more of this. We have a basic ones. We used everything extended. We have some more in here, all these terms. I'm going to work a little bit more to add these terms and also the reading each one of them. If there is anything to I can I can add or I can edit because we need to add more. We can come back here to use the advanced blog article outline with one, header one to three headings. We can click the article and then hit generate. I'm going to copy all this text and the paste to, to the bottom of this contents. And I'll be reading everything and then I will just start to editing and adding some more terms. And then I'll be adding using these headings to the article to write the paragraph. So that way I can extend longer than 2000 words. If you have your WordPress site, you can go ahead and click this one to import from export to WordPress. We also have a top analysis. We can click this and see what websites we have to choose. Computer's structure. We can see all these headings. Schema Explorer. We have a title, description, headers, one, two, and three. SERP layout features, related keywords. If you're writing more contents to the related to these topics, you can copy and you can use these keywords for your next. And we can go to the related keywords, another section here, and we have a bunch of them here. We can use them. Content terms. And if you think it's kind of overwhelmed information, of course, you can go to the how to the video to watch it and using the Newton Writer software. Let's go to the next content idea. Find new ideas. Here are some of the ideas the Newton Writer suggested for me. The first was content editing examples, content editing skills, content editing apps, and we can go to the comments and you can add a comment here. You can go to internal links suggestions and hit generate internal links idea. The Newton Writer will digging into my website and see what's the related the contents I have in my blog post. Now let's go to the roadmap. This is where you can check the updates, the WordPress integration updated and the color keywords by importance. And we can go to the roadmap here. They have planned a lot of things, notes and outline builder. 
Synonym suggestions, that's a good one. And some more here. Now, their price is pay monthly for using this neuron writer, but instead of that, on the deal sites, you just need to pay $69 one time. Of course, there is 60 days money back guarantee. So you just need to pay once and use the neuron writer lifetime, or so you get the 15,000 AI credits at this price. You can buy more codes to get more AI credits. The price of $483, it's, it's expensive. I know it's expensive, but it's worth it. As you can see, I already have this much of credits, AI credits, I'm using it. Hopefully you understand about the, how you can use the Newton Writer and how it, it can be beneficial to your writing content. And there's an AI tool will help you and shortcuts to complete your writing for sure. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel so you can watch the other demo and my honest review videos.